Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Samantha Winona, this is Winona Reads. So, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but it has been a very long time since I have filmed anything. We went on two vacations. Um, we had the boys' fourth birthday party. It was a huge party at the house. Um, and now it's like back to school time, so this is when things sort of slow down a little bit. But summer has been insane. Just, I feel like we're constantly on the go. And I actually have been getting a lot of reading done, strangely, but I think we've done so much in, you know, between June and, you know, now it's the end of August that, like, we've spent too much money and I think we're going to be staying in a little bit and sort of, like, hibernating this fall. Um, and definitely, like, spending more time at home, next to the fireplace, that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to not spending any more money. And also, my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks, which... I'm gonna be 31. I almost said 32. I I don't know how I feel about that, but that's beside the point. I wanted to film what I want to read this fall because um, like I said, I feel like we're gonna be spending a lot of time at home and I'm just ready for some cozy under the blankie next to the fire reads. So let's get started. The first thing that I really want to get to is uh, partial reread, but also it'll make sense when I just when I tell you. I want to do the um, Gilded Wolves trilogy. So I've already read the Gilded Wolves and the Silver Serpents, but I haven't read the Bronze Beasts, and that came out last year on my birthday, and I still haven't gotten to it. So I do want to reread the other two. I don't know how necessary it would be. I feel like I could just go back and kind of skim through, but. Um, I did enjoy them so much, so I do want to read the entire trilogy, so I might, I don't know, it really depends on what kind of mood I'm in, but I actually brought this one with me on one of the vacations to see if I could get into it, but we were on the beach and I was just not in the mood for it, um, but now, you know, as like the weather gets kind of cooler, it just feels like I want to pick these up soon, but I do want to get to it this fall. So if you haven't read the Gilded Wolves series, or trilogy, it is about a group, um, well, a guy named Severin. I think that's how you say it. He, the first one starts off, he is offered his inheritance, basically. This is why I want to reread it. So I think what happens is he was supposed to get an inheritance, but somebody either didn't claim him or something as, you know, someone that could. So it was like put aside. He never got it. So he gets a letter saying that he can get it, but I don't know if he's stealing artifacts back, but it has something to do with like creating a team of his, I wouldn't call them friends, but he creates a team of people to help him get these artifacts. And uh, then like a similar scenario in Silvered Serpents, but in a completely different location. And then I know Bronze Beast is in a completely different location as well. And then the other one, I guess I'll go with this one, uh, is one that everyone has already probably read, talked about. I haven't. The Secret History by Donna Tart. Uh, this is Dark Academia, about a group of friends, one of the friends dies. I don't think it's multiple POV, but it is just going through, you know, obviously what happened in their lives. And I know a lot of people, uh, relate it to, uh, We Were Villains by, I think it's ML Rio. So... A group of friends, one of them dies, it goes into, you know, their friendship and the complications and the death and all of that stuff. And I think they try to cover it up, uh, but I've heard so many good things about it. I haven't read her other stuff. I have tried to get into the Goldfinch by her and it was never successful. So I'm hoping that I can get into it since it's being compared to If We Were Villains. I think that's the name of it. Um, and I did like that one a lot. So I do like Dark Academia. I feel like it would be a good vibe. So I do want to give that a try. And the next one I want to get to is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. 
and I actually saw on Amazon I don't know if it's coming out soon or it is already out um, I added it to my wish list but the second book um, is either out or coming out soon I know I've already hauled this before but um, it's basically uh, as the only second daughter born in centuries she has one purpose and that's to be sacrificed to the wolf um, but I think the wolf is like a cursed man or something so it definitely has the like folklore feel um and i don't know it just seemed a little bit dark and perfect for fall and i'm hoping to like it so that i can get to the second one um i mean not for nothing but i also love the covers so and the new one looks pretty cool too uh the next one i want to get to is the troop by nick cutter and I've heard that this is very gory. Um, I've heard a lot of similarities uh, comparing it to, you know, a group like Lord of the Flies, I think. Just because like a group setting of boys. Um, so this is about a camping trip. <clears throat> it is about a scout master group, or I guess like boy scouts, a troop of boys. Um, and then it says, when an unexpected intruder stumbles upon the campsite... Uh, the boys and the scoutmaster are exposed to something far more frightening than any tale of terror. The human carrier of a bioengineered nightmare. So it says, a struggle for survival with no escape elements and infected or one another. Interesting. So they must be stuck in the place that they're camping with this person. I don't know. I've seen a lot of people recommend this. So I got this last year, I think. And perfect and creepy so I want to give that a try uh, this is another one that I hauled last year the book of accidents by Chuck Wendig and I also want to try and read this probably in October before Halloween so I'll probably save I'll probably save the troop in this one for Halloween plus this is a chunker I mean the writing's kind of big but that's my 500 pages it looks a lot bigger this was what, honey? Okay, so this is a um, story about a family returning to um, their hometown. And I'm not sure what the title is in regards to, if it's like a foreshadowing to what happens. Um, but the married couple, Maddie and Nathan, they return back to their hometown. They both have traumas from their past. And I think think they have yeah they have a son who is starting to see dark magic within the house um i'm assuming probably a childhood friend um or an imaginary friend comes to life or something you know ghost related um so i am excited to get to this yes honey i'm trying to film my stuff i want to read do you want to sit with me Okay, you can sit here. You can sit right here and you can hand me books, okay? Thank you. So the next one I want to get to is Sarah J. Mass, Crescent City. Obviously, this is quite dense and going to take me a while, but I still have... Please don't bring that in here. Um, I still have yet to read anything by her. Um, and this probably isn't the correct place to start. Are you taking the covers off? You're closing the book? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, I am pretty sure this is a fantasy about um, a girl named Bryce who is half fae, half human, who is looking to get revenge. I believe someone that she loved died, and she is looking to... Guys, what are you doing? Ophelia, can I please have that book? Love you. But yeah, so this this will probably be like a whole month thing or probably two months and I'll just read like sections at a time um, because it's like 800 pages. And again, I probably shouldn't have started with this if I've never read her stuff before, but I have been meaning to get to this for so long. I know there's more coming out or the second book is already out. 
between this one and realm breaker i've been wanting to get to both of them i think they're just intimidating so i really just want to like bite the bullet and just do it this year before the year is over so hopefully i can read all these dense books uh the next one my daughter took the cover off of but i didn't know it was this pretty uh the nature of witches by rachel griffin and i hauled this last year um similar thing like i hauled it around the fall time but never got to it so this has to do with a witch or it says for centuries witches have maintained the climate their power peaking in the season of their birth so her name is clara and her magic is tied to every season but i think it changes a little bit with, with each season um hence the title the nature of witches so I'm definitely interested to see what sort of witch vibe it is because I think there's a lot of different ways you can go as far as storytelling with witches. So I do want to get to this. I don't think I realized this was YA. So this might be sort of a faster read to get through. I say that, but I doubt it. Uh, the next one is also pretty intimidating, but I have been wanting to pick it up since I bought it, and I don't know why I've waited this long. House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski. Um, This one I've heard is so twisted. I honestly don't even know what it's about, but the format has me so intrigued, and like honestly, every time I finish a book and I go to my bookshelf to look for something new, I'm always like, should I pick it up or should I wait? Should I pick it up? Should I wait? So I do want to get to it. Sounds super interesting. I think my husband just got home, so one second. Okay, I am back. He is home, so now the kids will have a little bit of a distraction, even though my dog is scratching at the door right now. Uh, the next one I want to get to this fall is The City of Mist by Carlos Ruiz Zafon who wrote The Shadow and the Wind, um, and this is a collection of short stories. I think they're kind of dark and gothic, which is why I wanted to pick it up in the fall. Also because short stories, hopefully I can, again, trying to hide my mess in the corner, uh, hopefully I can get to it, you know, in between the bigger books that I have. Does that make any sense? So this is a lot I am I gonna get to all these probably not uh, the next one that I do want to get to is this guy painted gold by Laura Wood um, I haven't read this author before the reason that I figured I might vibe with this a little bit is because I saw it on a recommendation video for um, like Gilmore Girls related books like not like ones that Rory reads but like stuff that if you like the show you would like the book and I think they said I'll have to look it up I, I can't remember her name but she said that this reminded her of Lorelai because of the not fitting into the how like high society that she's supposed to be in because of her parents this is um about two siblings and I think it is like a friend outside of the two siblings who maybe wants to be a part of that or doesn't want to be a part of that world um, but it, they're high society glittering world um, so this definitely sounds interesting I think I might pick it up sooner rather than later um, I wanted to kind of diversify my fall TBR a little bit and give myself options because I don't want to like just stick to like thrillers or horror I need to replace the battery of course back again um so what i was saying i wanted to diversify a little bit and um i also felt like i i mean i'm still reading but because of summer i feel like i'm really into like rom-coms and i've been reading a lot of colleen hoover that i've never read before <laughs> and um like devouring books so i just wanted to give myself a lot of options going forward with the next couple of months and kind of see you know per mood where i'm at um the next one that i wanted to pick up is 50 words for rain by asha lemmy uh now this says she's the child of a married japanese aristocrat and her african-american gi lover 
she's an outsider from birth so I think this is another one about not really fitting in it says Japan 1948 do not question do not fight do not resist she's confined in the attic of her grandparents imperial estate where she receives scalding chemical baths daily to lay in her skin Jeez. this is definitely a unique concept something that I haven't picked up before and I also got this last year I think a lot of these are last year's picks that I'm just getting to now so um, these are more like I, don't, I mean I know this one is literary fiction I don't know if a sky painted gold is but this one is as well and yet again another dense book uh, a little life I know you've seen it you've probably read it I know it's about a lot of tears uh, or brings on a lot of tears, not about a lot of tears, or maybe both, I don't know. This is almost 800 pages. Something about it has, well, something, the size of it has definitely deferred me from picking it up for a little while, but I do want to get to it, um, only because I do feel like after reading so many like rom-coms and lighter fiction i feel like the fall is kind of a way to get back into like some darker stuff as far as like emotion so i do want to pick this up this one is about a group of friends as well um but it goes through different traumas and different stories yes yeah, as different decades so yeah i don't i don't know it seems a little bit over my head I guess for the moment like I'm not gonna pick it up right now but I think this fall sorry wait or sneeder um I think by you know a month or two I'll be ready to get into my feelings and kind of get out of the lighter reads we'll see though we'll see there's I didn't realize I picked so many thick books uh, the next two that I want to get to are Alkajashi's The Henna Artist and the, well, it's a duology. Did I say that? Uh, the Secret Keeper of Japur. And I thought of these uh, for two reasons. One, because, again, they constantly stare at me on my bookshelf, and I've been wanting to get to them for so long. But also, I, I'm pretty sure I did see... Um, another author posts that she's coming out with a new book. I don't think it's related to the duology, um, but they were posting about how excited they are for her new, um, uh, that they wanted to, they were so excited to get to the new read. So I do want to pick that up because I, I've heard such good things, such good things. And so many different channels have recommended it. So I do want to pick it up. The last one. I probably won't get to this fall, but I'm just going to throw it in just in case, you know, I have one of those moments where I read the first couple pages and actually get, like, invested in it and end up picking it up. But that is going to be another chunker, Jade War, or not Jade War, Jade City by Fonda Lee. It's another one that I have yet to pick up um, and don't know too much about besides it's an epic fantasy and a trilogy like gangster related or it says family is duty magic is power honor is everything i'm pretty sure it's about like jade being currency and i remember reading like the first couple pages when i got it last i think it was last year like last december and i liked it but i wasn't ready to commit because it's well it's only 500 ish but yeah i wasn't ready to commit so i put it aside uh but these are the books that i plan to pick up not necessarily in order um i am in the middle of a couple right now i'll probably talk about them in the wrap-up uh that i i do want to finish those before i start anything else i'm reading a non-fiction i'm reading something on my kindle and then I'm trying to work my way through Poppy War. I put it down for a little bit because we were traveling and doing so much stuff and I just felt not connected to the story. So I want to get back into that and I want to finish that and I'm hoping that kind of kicks off this like fantasy, dark academia like vibe that I want my fall to be. So we'll see. I hope it works that way. Um, but yeah, and I 
know that there's other stuff coming out towards the end of this year so i know i'm gonna be adding stuff in a couple of months like um i believe keeper of the lost cities that one's gonna be released in like october so i know i'm gonna get to that last book um ninth house the second book is coming out so there are gonna probably be some substitutions but this is what i have and this is what i want to get to so pray for me i'm just kidding uh but <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest. It's a loosely based TBR. This is what I'm interested currently and hope to pick up. So let me know in the comments if you've read any of these uh, or which ones you would pick up first. That would be very helpful actually. And uh, which ones are, you know, gonna be a good vibe for a weekend. And stay tuned for some other videos coming up. I have too much on my mind my head is all over the place you know <laughs> what i just thought of is when uh what's the movie where matthew mcconaughey is doing like the thing on his chest and wolf of wall street and then he's like it's just fairy dust it's just like that's my head sometimes just fairy dust but i hope you like this video and uh stay tuned uh like and subscribe please and i promise i will be more consistent and I hope to see you soon. Keep reading. <laughs> Bye.